Hello, it's me, One Jam Games, and I am here playing Jurassic World Evolution 2. And today's episode, we're going to be finishing off the lagoon, okay, and bringing in the first Mosasaurus in our channel, okay. I'm excited for this, very excited, very excited. So, essentially, the way you make a lagoon is first, you obviously need to do research, and you get the research capability by going through the missions. And you, by going through the missions, you get enough scientists to research it and thus allowing you to create it and unlock it, you know? Let me quickly deal with this T-Rex. As it's been tracked, I'll continue talking. So, once the lagoon is researched, you get a lagoon hatchery with it, which comes with this one research. And then, to get a lagoon viewing stand, you need to research it separately. And once that's done, you can go to the i believe enclosure section and it'll all be there like these two here and the stand will be in the attraction i believe and the lagoon is quite simple as you can see there's little blue sections and that's where it could like su it's like subsections which you could latch onto. so because i placed this here as you can see it's red right now because i've already placed it but as you can see i filled in the next section and then the next section and it will latch onto the other side that's how you create the lagoon and once that's done the hatchery and the viewing stand has the same principle where it just latches onto a subsection and each of them need um, little pathways and once you've made the pathways it's all set up and once that's done you need to research the Mosasaurus and then like I said that's all you really need to do and that's how you make your thing so now I need logic people to find the Mosasaurus DNA and I need more scientists low key so yeah I'll be right back once I've done all the research for the Mosasaurus so see you guys in a bit oh my god guys oh my god welcome back so I got upsetting news besides the point he is being made okay I've gone most of the research done I couldn't be asked to wait till 100% it takes forever oh I'm high shit I never knew I was like editing this one like why ain't it like upgrading my thing and then I, now i just realized okay besides the, besides the point okay sad news guys little rexy died the main attraction of this park just passed away so we're gonna need to find a new t-rex this section is dead now this whole section has nothing worth coming to because that t-rex is dead guys I don't need to increase the capacity, like storage. I just need to increase the amount I can extract at one given point. Because it is actually a joke. I was doing the Mosasaurus one by one. Like, three pieces come in, I need to do it one by one. I was like taking forever and I couldn't be asked to do it. Usually I'm patient, but like, the Mosasaurus, holy, it takes like three minutes. Look, watch this. Like, before. Because I didn't have this much space, I could only do one at a time. Now I can do two, that's actually nice. That's actually, actually nice. No cap, you, you like, holy sh... Okay, T-Rex is our main objective apart from the Mosasaurus right now. Because we need a T-Rex genome for the main thing we want. And the main thing we want in this park is him. And we need to get T-Rex genome to 50% at least. Because there's nothing bringing them there, you know? The T-Rex was before, but then there's no T-Rex. Oh, <gasps> the Mosasaurus, guys. My finger's on my screenshot button. Oh my god. Dr. Wu is looking at increasing the Velociraptor population. So we're going to be bringing in an ex-military specialist. He's a bit of a free spirit, so you'll need to keep him on track. Name's Grady. Owen Grady. My job here is to look after the well-being of the dinosaurs. I'm an animal behaviorist. First things first. Let's incubate and release a pack of Velociraptors. Owen is here to ensure everything goes to plan. Holy shit, guys. 
Yo. No, we should have a Moza. No show, no show, no show, no show, no show. I can't see shit. Is he gonna go eat? Oh! Holy sh... You guys see that? This woman is the best. These people slept twice each, and she hasn't slept a single time. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. That's a, this is a short episode. I didn't do much, apart from like find this creature amazing. You know? Holy sh! He looks sick. It's hard to see because of water, but it makes sense. Let me. Can I get rid of this? Uh. Delete. There we go. And then we can add another feeder. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. This was just a basic lagoon one, you know. Just to get the um, lagoon set up for the mission and everything. But now, main goal is going to be getting the T-Rex set up. T-Rex Velociraptor Giga. And I'm going to position them around... Wait. Oh, snap. Shukahani Ice tea. So... I got so much space, I got so much space here, that I might just make another, make like a Giga section here and a Velociraptor section here. You know? This herbivore enclosure is so large. I bet I could put even more herbivores in there, Loki. Make them tamed and stuff, yeah. And... This subsection, I'm thinking halving this, making like Indo Indominus Rex here. We'll see how much space he needs. Giga here, uh, Raptors here, some other dinosaurs there. But I want to make a Giga because in the new movie, Giga is going to be the main uh, threat if you do say so. Thank you all for watching. Like always, subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Comment down below if you want to name him. And the best name is going to obviously win it because you know how he be sometimes. And like always, I'll see you guys, okay, on the next one. Peace.